In the past few days, Dr. Joda Talkaswini, an Iraqi poet, author, and researcher, and top graduate of Islamic Academic and Traditional Sciences from the universities of Baghdad and Cairo and the SOAS University of London, met with the Grand Jury side to launch was at a central office in Holy Kham, Iran. In this meeting, Dr. Kaswini offered his latest publication to the Grand Jurors. Furthermore, the Grand Jury side to launch was referred to several hadith and Quranic verses and underlying that willpower is the only tool that can beat evil desires of the soul and pave the way for establishing correct beliefs. The Grand Jurors also stated that God's help and the favors of the pure household are essential elements for being successful in education. It is noteworthy that Dr. Joe Tatal Kashwini is a descendant of the late Grand Islamic Juris, late Ayatollah Sayyid Mahdi Kashwini. Stay tuned. <laughs> لا بذكائه لا بذكائه. الشيخ الأنصاري رضوان الله عليه مو معروف بذكاء أكثر من المتعارف ولكن لا يزال الشيخ الأنصاري عن عمر لم يبلغ السبعين يتحكم على كل الحوزات العلمية منذ قرن ونصف صحيح. المهم العزم Although Sheikh Ansari may his soul rest in peace was not recognized for having superb intelligence. Till now, more than 150 years have passed since his death, but his influence still dominates over all Muslim Shia seminary schools. What is important for people is to have determination. It is possible for a person to be smart, but he leaves this world without making or bringing any changes. And that is all because they did not have determination. These were some of the words of Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shirazi expressed to Dr. Jodat Qazwini in a meeting with this prominent Lebanese Shia author, writer, and poet. Along this highly respected author, a Lebanese scholar accompanied him too. These two respected scholars and intellectuals from Lebanon had visited the central office of Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shirazi in Iran in holy city of Qom. Three things increase a person's determination. This is what Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shirazi suggested to his guests. First, beseeching help from God. Second, seeking help from God's messenger and his pure infallible family and good management. Then the Grand Islamic Authority asked the guests to persist in their efforts and he specially asked Dr. Qazwini to write a book about Shia civilizations and governments throughout the history, to include in this book innovations, scientific discoveries, findings, and inventions done by Shia scholars. The Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shirazi continued that not very long ago, in one of sea excavations, a bag containing coins was founded. These coins, it was imprinted on them, these three slogans, there is no God except Allah, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, Ali is the authority of Allah. It is assumed that most likely these coins belong to the Fatimid era in Egypt. This should be mentioned that this is only a limited sign of vast Shia heritage, culture, and civilization that existed throughout the history. The Grand Islamic Authority Ayatollah Shirazi gave another example that at the time of his father, late Ayatollah Sayyid Mehdi Shirazi, a Muslim Shia man, came from Indonesia to see the late Ayatollah Sayyid Mehdi Shirazi in Iraq. The name of this Indonesian Muslim Shia man was Muhammad Asad Shahab. The occurrence of this story goes back to almost 60 years ago. The Grand Ayatollah Shirazi father, Ayatollah Sayyid Mehdi Shirazi, encouraged this Indonesian Shia man to write a book about Shias living in Indonesia and their history. Following this advice, this man, Mr. Muhammad Asad Shahab, wrote this book and later published it. In this book, he had stated that a thousand years ago, there were many Shia mosques in Indonesia, which these mosques and religious centers contain inscriptions and engravement of blessed names of 14 infallibles. The Grand Islamic Authority further added that Muslim Shias have long history, but it is scattered and dispersed. This should be accomplished that all history of Shias around the world 
should be compiled and organized. Then the Grand Islamic Authority also added that this is very critical, important book, still till today, does not exist. He requested from this author to be the leading person to write this book and not to include any political quarrels or complications and only to focus on Shia achievements and successes wherever and whenever they were. Since the beginning of Prophet Muhammad mission and since the time when the Prophet called Arabs and people of Arabian Peninsula to Islam, Shias existed. The true builders of Shia civilization are the Prophet and the Prophet's infallible progeny. The Grand Islamic Authority, Ayatollah Shirazi, mentioned this to the Lebanese author, that today Lebanon needs to give special attention and care to its youth, to ensure just like previous ages, this country gives the Shia world and the world in general with highly educated Shia scholars. The Grand Islamic Authority further added that, in order for this to occur, three points must be concentrated upon, and they are good education for youth, teaching them good manners, and help them acquire piety. Following these recommendations bring success and prosperity. Otherwise, the life will end without true accomplishment. Determination plays an important role in here. With this remark, the Grand Islamic Authority ended his saying that the followers of Prophet's infallible progeny have 14 lanterns to follow, and they can lead others to success. <laughs> اللي أنا رأيته وجلست إليه شيخ محمد جواد مغنية كان شيخ محمد العيات كان هذول يجوز أحفادهم الآن موجودين لبنان المستقبل أكثر بحاجة إلى هذا النماذج كن أنت أحدا بحاجة إلى ثلاث كلمات حتى تصير أولا تعبئ علمي ما دام في قبل ضيع وقتك تعبئ علمي ثانيا تقوى حقيقيا ثالثا أخلاق واسعة أخلاق على أسلوب أهل البيت حتى توفق وإلا توفق من الدنيا فاليوم وما تتوفق عزم عزم In the end, Dr. Jodat Qazwini gifted his latest book collection to the Grand Islamic Authority. It should be stated that Dr. Jodat Qazwini as a grandson to Ayatollah Sayyid Mehdi Ghazwini, who was one of Iraq's leading scholars. Dr. Ghazwini holds several college degrees from different universities around the world.